It's Saturday, Greg. Where the hell were you on Wednesday? Where were you? Where were you? I was at work. I was... wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> on today's show, Greg, we're talking about how hard it was growing up in the 80s. Tell me, Jason, what did you find hard in the 80s? Lots of things, Greg. <laughs> Five in particular that we're going to talk about. Five things that... that First one, Greg. You found hard in the 80s. Watching movies and TV shows. What sort of movies were you watching that well, made I mean, you find this hard? No, I don't mean it was hard watching the movies, like sitting down on the TV and watching... That wasn't... That's not changed. Not sitting down on the TV. On the sofa, watching the TV. That hasn't changed. We still do that. But... Getting hold of movies to watch. You had to actually go out the house, didn't you? Yes. There were no iPads. No iPads. No YouTube. No YouTube. No internet. No internet. So we had to get up. Sat. Off of our bottoms and do this thing that we all used to do. Do you remember? Where you used to put like one foot in front of the other. It was called walking. And we used to walk or ride our bikes to the video shop. Mm. Spend ages looking at all the shells and reading the little synopsis on the back. And always grabbing Superman 4. Or the Goonies. Or Superman 3. And then... Or Superman 2. You would take it back to your house, put it in your... Sometimes Superman 1. Put it in your top-loading video player. You know the ones you had to press the buttons with two hands on? Yeah, but they're the older ones. We had the newer ones in ours. Of course you did, Greg. Um, With a remote control on a wire. (laughs) <laughs> that? Yeah, but the wire was only this long, so yeah. you might as well just pressed it. And uh, you would watch the movies with some great trailers at the beginning. That's disappeared as well, hasn't it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's what the noise was, not it? And then when you'd watch the movie, you had to rewind it before you took it back to the video shop. Yeah, but some people never bothered, no, did they? And then when you got one that hadn't been rewound, you were really cross, right? Furious. Yeah. So, yeah, we couldn't just pick up our iPads or... Go on our internet-connected TVs and search for any movie or TV you know show what? that we wanted to That's watch. That's actually a really big thing that you're saying, really. Because when you think about it, like your children, they're never going to experience that. No. That's never going to happen. They're never going to go to the video shop and pick out a video. I've said it before, I think. that it, Imagine when we were kids in the video shop, if somebody had walked in with an iPad and gone, all of this, it's all on there. Take it. What, what We'd have been like, what? That's where the excitement's gone, though, for me. Not, not the going to the shop. It's the waiting for the film to come out now. I mean, if you want a film now, that's before it comes out, just go and see Blue Mike down the road. I don't mean he's blue. I mean, you know, if you want it. Do you know what I mean? But you used to have to wait. Hmm? You have to wait for that trailer to come out. And well, I like to record shows, trailers. TV shows. Remember when we used to have to like wait a week between episodes? Hmm? Now you just watch them all in one day if you want. Well, even Michael, Michael Jackson, even Moonwalker, just that little clip of Smooth Criminal. Do you remember that when the music video came out? I had to wait two weeks in two halves to see that. Record the one half, one week, second half, and now play. I know. Um, while we're talking about kids' TV, Greg, the second second thing that I've written down. I don't think we were talking about kids' TV. No, we're about to talk about kids' TV. Yeah, but you said while we're talking about kids' TV. What I meant was while we're talking about TV. While we're talking about TV. We're going to talk about kids' TV. We're going to talk about. We're not. We was talking about. Kids TV in the 80s, Greg? Yes. We didn't have our own channel, did we? No, we had to wait for ITV or BBC One. The only TV, kids TV, we had in the 80s was for an hour and a half after school, Monday to Friday, and then Saturday morning. And if you're lucky, on a Sunday night, there might have been like a kids family film or something on. You mean early evening? Yeah. Yeah. Because obviously then you had to have your bath and ready for school the next day. Yeah, but in your case, that was only once a month, wasn't it? Absolutely, yeah. So, kids these days take it for granted that kids' TV is on all the time, 24-7. It is, yeah. And there's not just one. There's about eight channels, isn't it? Nickelodeon, Disney Channel, Cartoon E2. Do you like one of them, Jason? Well, my kids do, yeah. But having said that, they don't actually watch all of those as their broadcast anymore. They spend most of their time watching stuff as it's streaming. Watch it. Not this. There are kids that watch us, though, on a Saturday morning. I hope so. Oh, yeah, there is. So that's TV covered, Greg. Now, one of the other big things... Are you ticking things off? Yes. <laughs> one of the other big things in the 80s yes. that we all had to do that was 
we don't seem to do these days was being on time for things. I'm always on time for things. No, but do you remember, before we had mobile phones and everything, on a Friday afternoon after school, we'd go, right, I'll see you tomorrow at 11 o'clock down the wreck or down the park or whatever. And we'd go, yeah. No further communication. We would be there at 11 o'clock the next day, wouldn't we? Uh, yeah. These right. days, we would agree that. Then, when I got home later on, we'd text each other saying, we're still on for tomorrow, Yeah. Then in the morning, you'd be like, uh, 11 o'clock, yeah? Then we'd be like, right, I'm 10 minutes away. <laughs> oh, I'm going to be late. That's usually my one, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> when I'm already there. Yeah. I'm here. No, I know what you mean. Um, like, well, I used to play football after school, every, and I was always the same thing. I mean, yeah, half past three. Then the, and down, we were there. Then the time. jingles. And then we were at park. All right. Oh, great well, days. And we were just there, on time. Nobody <sighs> had to... Send each other a thousand text messages. They were real friends as well. I really miss them. It's funny how you grow up in it and you meet new people and you. That's that one covered, Greg. Being on, on time. You just move on, don't you? You end up being friends with people you don't really want to All be. All right, Greg. Friends. We're moving on to the next. Sorry, one. was that coming out? I yeah. thought I was thinking it. Sorry. Flammable clothing. Shell suits. Exactly. Can't beat them. <laughs> Luminous pink, up in flames. Anywhere near an open flame, you would read a story every week about a kid who had a shell suit melted to their body, wouldn't you? And we just, we all still, still wore them. them. <laughs> I was like, you see that on the telly in the morning, and you're like, right, we're going to shell suit on. And then Do you, you know, walk down the street going, whoosh, 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 yeah. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> what's funny is, what's funny is, you can get away with, I mean, you can get away with wearing a tracksuit top now, not so much a shell suit, but we used to wear the same coloured trousers. I know, it was a Pink matching. trousers, pink. Luminous green jacket. And didn't we think we looked cool? Oh, yeah. I had hair down here. <laughs> Just uh, at the back. Like, like that. And then down here. I believe it's called a mullet. And then uh, spiky out the top. Just just about this long. Spiky. Uh, uh, oh, down here. Shell suit. Trainers. Have Reebok pump. Have any uh, pictures? No. I have. I haven't. Here we go. Uh, uh, <laughs> Reebok pump trainers. He spent an hour pumping him. But <laughs> <laughs> just to hear this noise. <laughs> That was it. <laughs> God, oh, what did we look like? I remember my first pair of um, really good trainers. Oh, I wonder where <laughs> we were going then, Jason. Because uh, when you said bear, I thought you meant... No, we're... I didn't. Oh. Nike Air Hirachi, Greg. Oh, you had some of them? Yeah, but I ordered them out of the catalogue and paid for them 36p a week. Have you just finished off? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, just finished, yeah. And they're all yours now? Yeah. How do you feel? I don't know where they are now. It's funny because I had brand new and paid for yeah, cash. Of course you did, Greg. Yeah. <laughs> so the last thing on my list, Greg, is yes. you just it off. Finding things out. Finding mm -hmm. finding things out. When your voice broke. Yeah. What do you mean finding things out? Well, if you had homework or oh. anything like that, you couldn't just get on the internet, could you? You had to go down the library, get a book off the shelf, Encyclopedia Britannica, look it up. What you needed to find out about, write what you needed to write. If you wanted to know what was on your TV, you couldn't just press the planner button. You had to go and get the radio times and the TV times. You, honestly, you must have read my mind because I was thinking this the other day. <laughs> I was flicking through the channels and thinking, what, what's on next week? Because there was a documentary recently about George. Uh, and, and anyway, that was on last week. And I was looking through when it was on. And it was on this week, and I found out. Now, that used to, you have to wait till the, the Monday to get next Saturday's book to yeah. find out what times are there. Not just on. one book, Greg, two books. Oh, yeah, for two, all two. For all four channels. You, you're opening my mind up here. You're right, because people go to school now, and they've got this, and they get everything on this. Yeah. They go to school with this. Whereas we had to go on CFAX, page 100. <laughs> CFAX! <laughs> Find out the sports results or the weather, and then it takes. And the numbers are just load. load. Yeah. Load, load, load. Uh, yeah. Oh, they were different times, Greg, weren't they? The, uh, Do you think it's better now? I mean, you can't deny it's better. Don't it's get me wrong. I mean, we all spend our most of our day on this, don't we? All that. So I do think it's clearly a better thing, but I don't know. I like. I miss those days. I, I I'm glad I, we caught because I'm a lot younger than you. I'm glad we caught the last bit of it before. This, because yeah. this happened really quickly, didn't it? Well, we were going to do an episode, and we might still do an episode, where we were going to get all of the things that you can now do with your phone, and have them all on the table, weren't we? Like a video recorder, and 
camera and all I that I don't stuff. think we've got enough room. No, I don't. Because I really you don't. can now do it all in there. I mean, look at this. I'm running our screen from my phone as well. Yeah, we are, aren't we? We're running it together. So there's loads of things that we could talk about, Greg, but that was just a little list that I came up with. I'm feeling all nostalgic now, are you? We did come up with it, didn't we, Jason? Yes, we did, Greg. We, we did, didn't we, Jason? I wonder if you can turn the brightness down a bit on the screen. Jason, it's nothing to do with that, is it? What isn't? You always make out that, oh, it's the brightness, and then you realise it's me telling a joke, and then you pretend you've got a headache. <coughs> I don't know why I'm you not do pretending it. I have got a headache. Why have you got a headache, Jason? Because your jokes give me a headache. You know you love these jokes. You know you love them, Jason. You love these jokes, Jason. Shall I just introduce the commercial break now, and then we don't have to do it? No, because I've got some news this week, Jason. I've just found out that I'm colour blind. Alright. It came completely out of the purple. Time for a commercial break. Hordak and the evil Horde are out to get him an and Skeletor. Hordak, Hordak. Skeletor, Skeletor. Who can defeat gruesome Grizzlor and the sucking leech? Grizzlor, Grizzlor. Leech, Leech. Hordak and the evil Horde. New from Mattel. Hordak. Lights Alive has no pegs to lose. 3D batteries not included. Lights Alive comes with everything you see here. By Tomy. eBay. Find number three pound of the week. Oh. I love that intro. Which one? The one that's just been on there. The one that we went eBay find of the week. Ah. <laughs> What have you been finding on eBay this week, Greg? Are you drunk? No. What have you been finding on eBay? I found Spider-Man. Oh. Oh, it's pretty cool. I mean, it doesn't what's, do anything. That That's just a tag look, oh, right. so you can hang him up. It doesn't do anything, but I just thought, that is brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. So instead of spending £55 trying to win one on a claw machine... I just bought... I just bought it on eBay. Do you know what that was? How much? That was £2.78. pence. Plus postage. Plus postage. Yeah, I think we've decided that we're doing plus postage now, aren't we? We're not saying how much the postage was, though, are we? No. Because that would ruin it, wouldn't it? Yeah. Good, because that was £8. You may not know this, Greg. And you may not know this. He looks like he's having a dump, doesn't he? But, but I have got a bit of a thing for big box VHS videos. Do you know, it's funny because I was talking to the uh, the shop people, you know, the people who do the shop, and they said, we think we should make a t-shirt with Jason's favorite uh, phrase on it. And I said, which one's that? And they said, well, I've got a bit of a thing for big box VHS videos. All right. So they said, let's put that on a t-shirt because you have got a bit of a thing for big box VHS <laughs> I have video. Got a bit of a thing for big box VHS video. <laughs> Was that a good video? plug there, Jason? Yeah, well done. Thanks, mate. And here is one that I've found before. Now, I think I already own this. So you bought it again? <laughs> I've done that quite a lot because I've got quite a few now. I have bought things twice. But, however, I think that the label, what is it? the label is better quality than the well, one. What is it? It's War Games, Greg. War Games? Yeah. The big box VHS video? Yeah, with Matthew Broderick. And how much was that? Look what's in it. Oh, War Games is actually in it from Warner Home Video. There's no way you got that under £3. Uh, yeah, I did. Hold on. Was it under £3? Plus postage. How much was the postage? Because this is where they get you. We just said we're not discussing postage, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, how much was the postage, Jason? This was £2.49, Greg. Yeah. Yeah. And? So they've stitched you up on the postage then, have they? No, not at all. How Jason. much was your postage? I've just said seven, eight pounds something. For postage? For Look that? Look at the size of it. That's no, that's not yeah, bigger that's than the Royal Mail small parcel. But that's parcel. where they get you, isn't it? That's where they make their money on it. This clearly was, oh, I think it bends. Oh, oh, he's dabbing. <laughs> <laughs> it bends. I paid um, £2.50 postage as well. No, you didn't. I did. Greg. You didn't. I did. You didn't. Yes, I did. There's no, that looks wrong, isn't it? There's no way you did. 
Well, I did. Well, you didn't. Well, I did. Well, you didn't. So, I mean, it's not a competition, but uh, no. who's got the best eBay find of the week this week? Well, I mean, all was... games starring Matthew Broderick, an absolute classic '80s movie on big box VHS video. Or Spider Man having a poo. This is a shout out to our viewers. It's about the stuff they sent us. No? no. Not joining in this week? No, no I'm not feeling this week. All right. Uh, shout out time, Greg. Shout out. Shout, shout out. out time. It's shout out time. Um, and our first shout out this shout week out. goes to little Simon Gray. Simon Gray from the northeast of England. Little Simon Gray. Yeah, he watches all of our episodes. Does he? Yes. So, so, Simon, thanks for watching. We do appreciate it. Continue to watch, please, because, well, it'd be pointless if no one was watching, wouldn't it? So, so, so. But our shout out of the week this week, Greg. Shout out of the week goes oh. to. Somebody who says that she's our biggest fan. Uh, she just comment on lots of our videos. Uh, she lives in the state of Washington. Oh, that's in America. Oh, America, America, America. Uh, this is Christine Riley. Hello, Christine. Now, Greg, we've messed up here, haven't we? Because the wall you've messed up is like that. Yeah. So she's going to have to go on the wall like that. But, uh, do you know what? I feel sorry for this guy either. Why? Because we didn't do an episode on Wednesday because you couldn't be bothered. No, we were on our way to Iceland, remember? Oh, yeah, that's right, yeah. Um, and he, so he's only been on for Saturday. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry, Alan. Sorry, yeah. So, um, well, you have been there for a week. I'll tell you what, though. What we thought we'd do is, because you're extra special... We'll file it. We're going to file you in an extra special place. There you go. There you go. So, um, so, uh, so sorry, Christine, you're going to have to go the, the wrong way up. Uh, well, no, we can sort of cover it a little bit. We'll just do that. Oh, yeah. We'll have to just have a, have a bit of a... Good thinking, Greg. There you go. Because if we take the other piece of paper off the wall, it'll rip the wallpaper off. No, that's brick, Jason. It's oh, real brick. The brick, it's real brick. Some brick out. It's real brick, that is. Yeah, because they're quite old, these bricks. Old man. bricks, brick because we don't want to pull oh, the bricks yeah. out. Then... Greg, how do they get a shout out? What they do is, Jason, and first of all, you see this here? They just, um, they can send emails, um, pictures, presents, money. If you would just like a shout out without a picture, presence, then just send us an email to tnt at totgu.com. That's tnerter at tot.com. And it doesn't have to be in capitals. It doesn't have to be in capitals. Um, and you could be in with a chance of having a shout out from us on a Saturday. If you would like a chance of getting your picture on the Wall of Fame, please attach a picture to your email and we'll see what happens. What did you go all high for then? To your email. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you need to do. And, oh, Greg, what have you done? I just thought I'd bring Michael into it for a little bit. Because I haven't been in the show for a little while. And I just want to say hello. And I haven't been forgotten. Bro! Well, unfortunately, Michael, it's time to go. Because that's the end of this week's Team Toast. Is it time for me to beat it? Jason. Oh, that was really bad, wasn't it? Jason. You know, this, this program's so quick, it feels like it's gone too soon. You should smile, Jason. I'm doing all Jackson songs here. Don't know whether you've noticed. I wish you would just leave me alone. Um, Goodbye. Bye. I never made that song.